Today we're going to see if we can turn this into this. I think it just gave away the punchline. Today's the day. I, um, I'm pretty excited. I, <laughs> I know, look at me, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to finally fire up the foundry for furnace. I'm going to finally try to melt some stuff in there and make an ingot or two out of aluminum, aluminum. And uh, uh, so let's get to it. I can't, I just, I can't wait. I've got a bunch of stuff I'll show you real quick. Uh, if you've watched earlier videos, you'll know all about the furnace. And you'll know about tools that I've made things. But I'm going to do a really, really quick kind of overview of what I got. And then we're going to fire the thing up. Here we go. Here is my furnace. Uh, it's made out of a five gallon paint can. You can see, um, got a, a six kilogram crucible that I put in there. My burner is made from just uh, uh, plumbing parts. And you can see that it's, it's already been fired up once. I fired the furnace up just to heat it up. I wanted to make sure everything was gonna get hot and not fall apart on me or whatever. Um, Close the lid up here and I'll show you. I made I made an ingot mold just out of some angle iron, just kind of welded that up. So I'm hoping I can, whoops, there it is. I <laughs> made an, ingle, an ingot mold out of some angle iron. Uh, and I'm hoping that will just, we'll be able to pour aluminum in there and get them out of there. I've got my crucible tongs that uh, I made the other day and I'm looking forward to actually seeing these dings in action. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and I made a, uh, I made a draw scraper as well, uh, just so I can reach in the, in the crucible and scoop out draws. So that's it. Let's get it fired up. So I'm going to use for my first firing here, I've got, um, wood, these are aluminum shavings off of a milling machine that, uh, uh, I, I picked up at a local high school that uh, the guy, I know the guy there, and he was willing to give me a, a bunch of shavings that they were just going to throw out or I assume recycle, but they'd get no money for it. So that'll be my first test. I've also got some uh, extruded, extruded, extruded aluminum from an old storm door. Kind of looks like this, just it's hollow. Well, we may throw some of that in there too, just to see how it does. So, woohoo! I'm going to open up the gas. I'm running about five psi on my um, regulator here. Don't know that that matters to anybody, but that's what I'm doing. Now let's see if we can, I'm gonna move the camera real quick. You can see how my, my burner is hitting the crucible. It's actually hitting the crucible pretty much, you know, almost straight on. It's unfortunate that's not what I wanted, but that's what it is doing. So here we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark the time here. Time is 8.57 in the morning. We get this thing closed up and we'll, uh, we'll check on it in a minute. Okay, this is it just after a few seconds. Now the flame is actually, you can't see it, but the flame is actually coming up through the hole. Uh, maybe if I turn the lights off, we build it. Let me see, I'll turn the lights off and see what it looks like. Yeah, so there you go. It's, the flame has actually come up out through the top of the lid. There is a vortex, uh, you know, a swirly kind of motion going on there. So, you know, I, I think it's going around good. You can see Things are starting to glow in there, so another great sign. And we are, at this point, two minutes into the melt. Okay, we're five minutes into the into the melt. I'm seeing a little bit open occasionally and the chips are moving around. I don't know if it's just from the turbulence from the gas burning or if it's actually melting. Uh, it looks like I'm starting to get some compaction in there, which is a good sign for me. Uh, I'll tell you what, this thing is nice. I mean, it's 36 degrees here. It's like 2.2-ish Celsius for the rest of the world. Um, 
it's cool out here, but this thing is warming up the garage nicely. <laughs> Probably the least efficient way to eat, but uh, anyway, that's a uh, yeah. I see some movement right there. There was, I think it's just possibly blowing around. I don't know. We'll come back in a couple minutes again. Okay, we're just over eight minutes into the melt now. Uh, you can see what's happening here. I don't know. You can almost see. I can see it better from this side. This side of the crucible here. Is where the torch, the, the flame is coming in, is definitely a lot hotter than the other side. So I'm not getting good even heat, um, but it is getting hot in there, and you can see what's happening now. I have a lot less aluminum, it's shrinking, and you can actually kind of see it moving um, as it's melting down on itself. It almost looks like a ball of crumpled up aluminum foil at this point. Um, so it's getting, I think it's getting pretty close to being melted. All right, we're about 11 minutes in now. I don't see a puddle yet, but I do know that all of those shavings have reduced down to about <laughs> a tenth of their original volume. So something's going on down there. I don't know what, but I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, some of that extruded aluminum in here and just see what we can get going. Okay, this stuff is, this stuff is dirty and it's got paint on it or powder coat or something. So I'm probably going to introduce as much slag as uh, aluminum here. And that was warm coming out of there. Let me get some more pieces. Now there's one piece. Or another one down in there too. Got a couple more ready to go here. I just missed it on camera, but oh, there it goes again. Moving. So it would appear that they're starting to melt. They're starting to fall down. You can see them going down into the crucible on their own. Woohoo! I guess I'm gonna end up with more slag probably than aluminum out of this, but we'll we'll just keep throwing things in there until I get a crucible full of aluminum. I hope. So we're now 15 minutes in. Okay, I am 22, 21 minutes, 21 minutes into this melt now. Uh, I had a crucible full of uh, aluminum shavings and then I put in those four pieces of extruded aluminum. I'm going to actually open this thing up real quick. I'm not a, again, I don't know anything, but I'm not a big proponent of scraping slag until the end. I'm just afraid that scraping slag introduces the opportunity for more aluminum oxide to form, but I want to see what's going on here. You can see I'm getting pretty warm and I got a lot of stuff on the top. So let's I don't know how much aluminum I'm scraping off there. Maybe a lot. I have to throw that back in. We'll see. But I've got a pretty good thing of aluminum going here. I'm going to add some more of those shavings and see what happens. Change, change my mind. These are some parts off of a, a kitchen an old kitchen faucet. And I'm pretty sure they're aluminum. We're going to throw them in. See what happens here. Looks like they're melting. I assume they're aluminum. All right, that was probably a huge mistake. <laughs> I'm going to have aluminum melted all over everything now because I tried to dump a, a scoop of those shavings in here while it was still running. I wanna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you something else here too, which I'm pretty, pretty happy with. So, let me take that out. You see what's happening to the paint? And actually that's a paper sticker on the, um, uh, on the can. Paint's not getting discolored. The paper sticker's not burning. That tells me my insulation factor on this thing is pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy about that. So let's get back to watching this stuff melt. All right, I just threw some more <laughs> of that screen door in here. Uh, it seems to be melting pretty quickly now that it's got a big a big thing of molten uh, aluminum in the bottom. Although I'm probably cooling everything off. You can see there's. 
all sorts of stuff burning off of it right now. Stuff was filthy. So I'm going to finish up with this. I'm going to go ahead and let these guys melt and we'll clean the dross off and we're going to do a pour. I have no idea how fast I need to work here, but you can see quite a bit of just junk on the top here, dirt and paint and whatever. I'm screwing up. I don't know, maybe someone can tell me how do you not scoop up aluminum when you're cleaning dross? I've, seen, I've heard guys using slotted spoons. Um, that may be an option. Okay. I think we're pretty clean. Here we go. Here we go. now. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I'm pretty tight here. There we go. Come on. Okay, we've got it. So it looks like uh, six kilograms is probably quite a bit of aluminum. I um, I could have probably gone with like a four, I think they come four, six, and eight kilogram um, sizes. So I, that's, you know, it's pretty good. Now you can also see I probably stuck in, let's see, I stuck two, four, seven pieces of that extrusion of aluminum. I filled the crucible full of shavings and I put another big scoop, which would have probably almost filled it as well. And I got those four ingots and I probably got enough for one more ingot in, in the crucible. So it reduces down quite a bit. Let's get these things. Okay, well, I just dumped them in, dumped them in water, the whole thing. I couldn't get the, the ingots didn't just fall out of there. Uh, let me grab a glove because I expect they're still unbelievably hot. But they did come out of, come out of my mold pretty good. Um, yeah, they're still steaming. Someday I'll learn to pour so I'm not pouring <laughs> connectors. Um, but we'll take and cool those off with some cold water. That water's boiling now. So there we go. They're, they're still very warm. Um, but I've got ingots. Well, there you have it. It worked. I am, you can't believe how happy I am. That is so cool. I was able to pull this thing off. Now, so I'm going to tell you right now, if you're thinking about getting into this stuff and getting into the, you know, melting and casting and whatever, do it. I mean, it really wasn't that hard. I, I made a bunch of mistakes, but nothing that wasn't overcome, you know, insurmountable that I wasn't able to overcome. My furnace worked pretty good, I think. I don't know compared to anybody else's furnace how it worked, but pretty happy with it. I mean, it worked, right? It melted. These things are great. <laughs> I had a ton of aluminum and look what it can't turn into. That much, that much uh, ingot, which is great because now I can get rid of all this stuff that's piling up in my garage. I can melt it down and I have something that I can store and stack. I love this. I never thought about these things just stacking together like that. How cool. Um, Anyway, I love the fact that I can just do that now. I can get rid of a lot of this junk and I can start making some things. So that's now my next step. I got to make a cope and a drag and I got to get some sand and I got to do, you know, those kind of things. But 
big hurdle out of the way. Have a great day. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. It really does help. If you'd like to be notified when we publish new content, go ahead and click my channel icon to subscribe. And finally, while you're here, take some time to check out some of our other videos. Have a great day and get out there and do something new today.